righty, so we have our conspiracy theories video today. Um, we've done, you know, the Magnum being removed conspiracy theory. We've done the BNM Strata conspiracy theory. Um, and yeah, so today's conspiracy theory is Wicked Twister. Um, and I honestly thought this would be an extremely easy conspiracy theory to cover. Um, but that proved wrong. So once I started and I started taking notes and recording both sides, I was like, oof. Uh, so I definitely switched sides. Uh, but we'll touch on that throughout my video today. Um, so why don't we dive right into this? So for the last couple of years, there have been rumors surrounding Wicked Twister at Cedar Point. A lot of you know them if you've been on the forums, and maybe a lot of you don't. Um, I know I have a lot of newer enthusiasts on my channel, and uh, welcome. <laughs> um, so in fact, many people strongly believe that Wicked Twister could be seeing its last couple of seasons of operation. Um, I spent some time digesting why and why not Wicked Twister could be leaving Cedar Point, and to be honest... This has been my hardest conspiracy theory yet because it's very possible and not very likely all at the same time. It's very confusing. Um, so get ready to enjoy my an analysis of this rumor and comment down below what you guys think um, because this, again, is definitely very difficult and I feel like even talking about it for a third time recording this audio, maybe I might switch again, but I'm going to list off both the facts on why this could be removed, or sorry, the speculation on why this could be removed and why it might not be removed. Um, so for those of you new to conspiracy theories, I go over both sides of the argument and then I give you my personal opinion at the end. So again, these conspiracy theories are not that of mine. I did not create them. I'm just talking and discussing about things I've read or heard online surrounding Cedar Point. Um, we are getting down to our last couple of Cedar Point conspiracy theories before I dive into other parks. So feel free to comment down below a conspiracy theory um, at your home park, and I will definitely try and cover it. So now let's get ready. Um, so for some reasons, um, Wicked Twister leaving could be possible around this whole new revitalization of the beachfront. So a lot of you know that Cedar Point has been working on this new beachfront boardwalk area. Um, for those of you who don't know, they're building like a boardwalk all the way from their front gate to their hotel, the TGI Friday's restaurant. Um, and we saw this start with Gatekeeper and now the slow introduction of the boardwalk. There's been lots of speculation surrounding what Cedar Fair's plans are for this um, boardwalk area and how Wicked Twister fits into those plans. This becomes more discussed as the BMX show building was removed. So a lot of you um, know, or for those of you that don't know, um, the BMX show building right there um, with the little green and the little round roof there near Wicked Twister has been removed recently. Um, and it's been somewhat improved uh, with a, a newer show kind of area. It's, it's a little more unique. Um, so speculation swirled about a coaster coming or a major flat ride and even a kids area expansion. But this was all later squashed by a revamped show area that opened up the view of the beach more. With Cedar Fair focusing on the beautification of this general area in Cedar Point, one could argue such an attraction like, like Wicked Twister simply doesn't fit in anymore. Some have argued it's not popular um, anymore. Again, quotations anymore. It's got a lot more downtime and it blocks a lot of potential for a uniquely themed boardwalk expansion of shops, boardwalk themed attractions and some have argued it could be better suited at a smaller cedar fair park so cedar fair could potentially knock two birds with one stone with this by relocating this coaster to a smaller park and to make room for a new attraction at the point now again this is extremely difficult because you would kind of have to know what cedar fair's plans are for cedar point and no one really knows in fact i would argue that cedar point has become one of those parks that are becoming extremely difficult to predict what's coming to them. I don't think anyone was predicting the um, that new attraction for 2019. We still don't know much about it, but Cedar Point seems to be focusing on making the park more beautiful and more of a destination. And um, I love Cedar Point. It's my favorite park in the world so far. But I definitely think there are a lot of areas that it can improve on, such as like beautification of, you know, the midways and the entrance from the front gate all the way up to Topfield Dragster. There's a lot of potential there. And it seems like Cedar Point is focusing on that. 
So it's becoming one of those difficult parks where people are like expecting a high major thrill thrill ride or coaster added every year. Um, and we're simply not seeing that because there's a lot of work to be done. So it's a, it's become a very hard park to predict for. So now with that being said, let's unlock this crate of bad news and dive into the reasons why this may not be removed or relocated. Now, this is where I started to be like, hmm, it really doesn't seem like this has a lot of potential to be relocated. So Wicked Twister takes up a very tiny sliver of real estate. And replacing it with another roller coaster doesn't seem possible or logical. Wicked Twister is a part of Cedar Point's record holders of most attractions over 200 feet. Cedar Point isn't in the business to remove attractions unless there is a valid reason behind it and a replacement is planned. Cedar Point is a park that I personally believe is in a coaster war with Magic Mountain again and removing a coaster isn't a part of their business plan at the moment. Yes, quality over quantity will always win, but numbers do also help and I can't see them taking a step back to be tied or behind a park like Canada's Wonderland. Yes, they are in the same family, they are kind of sibling parks. But I just can't see Cedar Point taking that step back um, and tying with Canada's Wonderland or even being behind them. We don't know what's going on at Canada's Wonderland by removing an attraction like Wicked Twister. It just doesn't make sense. Um, we don't see any final ride options. We don't see anything that would suggest Wicked Twister is leaving anytime soon. And I just don't like see this attraction leaving because it is a record holding attraction at Cedar Point. It's a part of that, you know, most attractions over 200 feet. Yeah, you could argue that the next attraction coming in could push uh, the 200-foot envelope. But again, Cedar Point is in a unannounced coaster wars, in my opinion, with Magic Mountain. And yes, quality will always win over quantity, but numbers do help. Um, Cedar Point has become an extremely tricky park now to predict the future attractions for, as I said earlier. And... Um, what the future holds, but I do strongly believe removing coasters isn't a part of their business plan anytime soon. I do strongly believe a quick re-theme to blend Wicked Twister into the new Boardwalk-themed area could be a much better business plan than removing it and relocating it to another park. I do think we may see rides in that area be relocated um, within the park to accommodate the Boardwalk area, um, but Wicked Twister really isn't a part of that in my opinion. There's a lot better um, things that Cedar Point could do um, instead of removing Wicked Twister. Again, this thing literally takes up a toothpick portion of land um, at the point. Um, so to sum it all up, my personal opinion on this uh, is that Wicked Twister won't be removed from Cedar Point anytime soon. Um, and maybe we may even see it uh, recolored, repainted, or rethemed to blend into the boardwalk area. Had some boardwalk shops, some themes, some restaurants, and you got an amazing new area. Um, so again, just to go over it, I just think there's that beautiful new Jersey kind of boardwalk thing they could build. You have those uh, boat rentals, skidoo rentals, and um, parachuting or paragliding, whatever they um, call it, rental building right there. You could blend in with it too, build a nice restaurant over the water and have the boardwalk go to it. There's so much potential that Cedar Point could go after here. And Wicked Twister really isn't in the way of that. And they could actually make Wicked Twister blend in a lot better. Kind of paint the supports like a, a brown color to like uh, represent the boardwalk and then paint the track maybe blue and have like, you know, rename it, give it like a or even just call it Wicked Twister or Wicked Cyclone, you know, Water Cyclone, whatever you want to call it. I know those are really dumb names, but have it blend in with the boardwalk theme. It's very easy to do, much easier than removing it or relocating it. So now it's your turn. What do you guys think? Is Wicked Twister leaving Cedar Point? If so, why? And if not, why? Comment down below what you think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the conspiracy theory. And uh, don't, forget the, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Again, we're going to be moving into other conspiracy theories soon, so comment down your home park and a conspiracy theory you'd like to see me cover. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Bye.